Hello? Hello, teach. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm very well, thank you very much. We're ready for this last day of the week. Listo para este último día de la semana. Yes. Yes, yay, the last day of the week. Yay, you say. ¿Cómo van? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo van con el trabajo de la plataforma? ¿Ya terminaron? Did you finish? Uh, no, no. Okay. Uh, ahorita lo voy a terminar. Ah, ok. Ahorita, no. Después de la clase. <laughs> yeah, ok. Sí, eh, recuerden que también a mí se me había ido recordar, se me había olvidado recordarles que siempre cada dos semanas tienen también el examen medio. Tienen pendiente el examen medio, parte de las tareas. El midterm. Middle train. El midterm. Sí, pero ahora les voy, a, les voy a recordar igual para que lo hagan de una vez. So you do it, ok. Solo que a mí me sale un mensaje como que no estuviera inscrita, dicho. Me le tomé y le tomé captura de pantalla porque ya ahí, ya llegué hasta ahí porque me quería causar temprano hoy. <ríe> Entonces sí. hice ya el, el, el medio. Ajá. Eh, no Pero sé, eso fue ahora. manda usted. La... Pero eso fue ahora. No, ayer. Ah, ok, sí, sí. Ayer. Sí, hay que mandarlo y hay que mandarlo a, a Flor. A Flor. Sí. Ella tiene un grupo. Um, o si no, ah, okay. no me lo igual. Ok. Uh, le tomé captura porque no sé si, no sé. <ríe> me, me llamó la atención que cuando, cuando me fui a la parte de evaluación dice que no estoy inscrita. Uh -huh. Vaya, Pero sí entonces, me sale todo lo del módulo. Vaya, sí. Eh, voy a revisar ahora. Después, después de que terminamos voy a revisar a ver si aparecen las tareas. A ver, a ver, sí, porque yo me acuerdo que sí, porque he estado revisando y de hecho de la primera semana sí puse, puse notas eh, suyas. Uh -huh. Ah, vaya, pues sí. sí. Okay, así que vamos a, a revisar ahora, a ver qué es lo que pasa. Ok, hi Juan Carlos. Ok. Good evening. Good evening, how are you? Very fine, I'm tired. Oh, I can see you. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. <laughs> they are <little>. very sad. <laughs> sad. They are swollen. <laughs> Tienen some bags behind. Tienen algunas ojeras. They have, you have some. You have eye bags. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, but it's the last day, Juan Carlos. That's the last day of classes. It's the last day of class. Yes. <laughs> yes. So that's. You must feel good because of that. <laughs> We can. Yeah. It's very good for me. Oh, nice. With family, friends. With family. Resting. In house. Eat. eat drink. Resting. Water. Drink. Water. Yes, yes, water. Drink Not water. Yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. okay. It's, it's good to drink water. <laughs> Three liters. Three liters are, are okay. Okay. Of water. What, cra crazy water. water. Yeah, not, not three liters of vodka, okay? Three liters of water. <laughs> It's only crazy water. Yeah, crazy water. <laughs> I imagine which the crazy water is. Okay, so let's start. Empecemos. Le voy a pasar a asistente para que demos inicio. So we start. Okay, let me see. Faltan varios ahorita, but let's start. Empecemos. Ana, diga ahí. I'm here, teacher. Okay, Ana Beatriz. Ana Beatriz is connected, yes. Present, present. Right. Okay. Uh, Carlos, Carlos David. Present. Oh, thank you. Edgar Alexander. Present, teacher. You look tired, Edgar. Te mira cansado, you look tired. Oh. <laughs> a lot, you can say a lot, a lot. Please say, very tired, very tired, muy cansado, very tired. Ember? Okay. Ember no ha llegado, right? Okay, let's see. Hazel Saray. She's not connected yet. Jacqueline Lisset? Tampoco, right? She's not connected yet. 
Yes, Ricardo. Jorge. Juan Carlos, yes. Juan Carlos, yes. Still here. Okay, perfect. Gracias, Mosque. Presente por la patria. Okay, aquí Eunice. Lo van a censurar, teacher, lo van a censurar. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, Eunice. Eunice. No, no ha llegado, Eunice. Okay. Let's see, María Elena. Mauricio. Nelson. No, he estaba hablando con el micrófono apagado. Ah, oh, ok, María Elena, sorry. María Elena, le amo, está number 12. Let me see. Ah, ya le había puesto en asistencia. <laughs> ok, ¿me siguen eso? Ay, no. Ok, good. Thank you. Néstor. Néstor. Not, not connected yet. Uh, Oscar Anulfo. Roxana Yamilet. No, estoy en la casa. Oh, yes, Oscar, I could be a tenant already here. Excuse me, teacher, only listen. Okay. 18, Wendy, Natalie. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Natalie. No la vimos ayer, Natalie. Jacqueline Gloribel. Okay, but you feel better. Ya mejor. Do you feel better? Glory Bell? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Jocelyn? Jocelyn, hello. Are you there? And Jocelyn. Yesenia, not connected yet. No se conectado con Yesenia. Okay, perfect. So let's start. Empecemos. Um, just a big reminder. Solo un recordatorio rápidamente. Teacher. Okay. Hola, teacher. Soy Joana. No estoy ahorita en la casa, pero ya pasó lista. Yes, ahorita. Pero ya tiene que conectar. I put the attendance, all right? ¿Cómo? Sorry. I put the attendance already. Ya puse la asistencia tuya. Ay, yo, va, está bueno. Yeah, it's okay. All right, so um, just a quick reminder, solo un, record, un recordatorio aquí rápidamente. A very important and quick reminder. Listen, just remember that you have until today to complete uh, the platform, okay? Week number two. Tenemos hasta hoy para completar la semana dos, okay, en la plataforma. Y algo que se me había olvidado recalcar también es que recuerden que cada dos semanas tienen una, una pequeña prueba escrita, un examen o el midterm aparece, ¿verdad? Así que esta semana, para hoy también deben, deben, dejar, deben tener completo el midterm, ¿ok? El examen corto, el midterm, el examen de dos semanas, el midterm exam, que aparte de las tareas. So, week number two, el midterm, semana número dos, y el midterm o, el, o la prueba escrita que aparece ahí, ¿ok? So please complete it, por favor, complétenla. Eh, yo mañana temprano, alrededor de las 8 de la mañana, yo voy a estar pasando notas ya de una vez, ¿ok? Para yo compartir ese, ese consolidado con inglés corporativo. Así que, por favor, traten de completar eso hoy. Les he estado recordando durante la semana que lo hagan, ¿verdad? Antes de que lo hicieran antes del viernes. Así que espero que todos ya lo tengan completado. Y si no lo han hecho, que se queden este día terminándolo para que ya estemos libres mañana, ¿ok? Yo temprano mañana paso las notas. So, um, so let's start. Um, yesterday, we studied the use of have to and need to. Ayer estudiamos el uso del have to y el need to. Uh, what is the purpose of have to? ¿Cuál es el propósito del have to? What is the purpose? Obligatoriedad. Yes, obligation. To express obligation. To express obligation. And what is the purpose of need to? Need to. What is the purpose of need to? 
Needs. Needs. Necessities. Yes. Needs or necessities. Very good. So I can say, in my case, in my personal case, I can say, I have, in my case, I have to work at Universidad de Oriente tomorrow. I have to work at Universidad de Oriente tomorrow. So it's my obligation. It's not a necessity, right? It's my obligation, okay? Yeah. And then I, 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 I can say, oh, um, I have to report your grades tomorrow. I have to report your grades tomorrow. Yo tengo que reportar sus notas mañana. It's an obligation because I have until tomorrow uh, morning. Tengo hasta mañana temprano, okay? So I have until tomorrow morning, okay? So I, need, I have to report that. Tengo que reportar eso. And in your case, in your personal case, you have to complete the platform work. You have to complete the platform work. Listen, I'm using have to. Estoy usando have to. Or I can say, um, Maria has, digo has para, para ella, ¿verdad? Maria has to complete some exercises on the platform today. Or Wendy, Wendy has to complete some exercises on the platform today. She has to complete this, her obligation to do it, okay? Yeah. And I need to eat some vegetables. I need to eat some vegetables tomorrow, okay? So, and I can say, I need to drink coffee. It's a necessity, right? I need to drink coffee. It's a necessity, right? So this is a need to eat for necessities. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, ¿qué página es, eh, vieron ayer? Perdón. ¿Qué página vimos ayer? Let me check. Uh -huh. Let me check quickly. Subimos en la página, si no me equivoco, página 27. Ajá. Subimos en la página 26 y 27. ¿Ok? Parte de la 27, part of 27. Gracias, teacher. Yes. Ahorita estamos medio repasando lo que vimos ayer. Okay. We are kind of reviewing what we started yesterday. Okay. So let's, let's carry on. So now it's your turn. Now it's your turn. Good. Now look. Uh, the, the, in the first activity, in the first activity, uh, you need, let me show you this. Let me mostrar this again. You need to, let me show you here. We have two things to do. Tenemos dos cosas que hacer. We have two things to do in this activity. Uh, first, uh, we need to write some activities here. We need and we have to do. Some activities we need and we have to do. Maybe what? Tomorrow, tal vez mañana, okay? So I can say, my example, right? I have to work. This is my example, okay? Este es mi ejemplo. I have to work tomorrow. Good. I need, another example, I need to, um, I need to drink coffee, for example. It's a necessity. Es una necesidad. I need to drink coffee. What about you? What do you need to do? ¿Qué hay de ustedes? ¿Qué necesitan hacer y qué tienen que hacer? What do you have to do and what do you need to do tomorrow? So here, aquí, you write four things, uh, five things, sorry. Cinco cosas que necesitan y que tienen que hacer. Okay? Yes? Tomorrow, maybe. Tal vez mañana. Okay? Five things you need or you have to do tomorrow. Yeah. Me escribir cinco cosas que necesitan y que tienen que hacer. It can be three obligations and two necessities. Okay? Three obligations and two necessities. Yeah? So let's write. Um, ¿Tienen el material impreso? Do you have the, the, the printed material? Do you have the, or do you have the photocopies of the material? ¿Cómo? ¿Tienen la fotocopia del, del material? Uh, la computadora. En la computadora. Bueno, si tienen una fotocopia, si tienen una fotocopia, en case you have the photocopy, esto está en la, esto está en la página 27. This is on page 27. Ese cuadrito está en la página 27. Ejercicio 5, actividad 5, ¿ok? So let's complete it. Completemos. Repeating three obligations for tomorrow and two necessities for tomorrow. About you, acerca de ustedes. Solo completemos la primera parte del cuadro, the first part of the chart, okay? 
hey, let's work. Trabajemos rápido. Let's work quickly. Page 27, if you have the photocopy, okay? Page 27, if you have the photocopy. Only five activities, okay? Only five activities. Three obligations and two necessities, yeah? I have to work tomorrow. I have to check some information in the morning or maybe um, I have to send some emails uh, at 11, okay? I don't know, your examples, okay? To sus ejemplos, your examples. Or I need to drink coffee at eight, okay? And some other necessities you have, your other necessities that you have, okay? I need to have breakfast in the morning, for example. Necesito desayunar, I need to have breakfast. It's not an obligation, it's a necessity, right? It's una, es una necesidad. I need to have breakfast, for example, yeah? Okay, the same. When you finish, uh, raise the hand, please. Cuando terminen, levanten la manita para ir viendo más o menos lo que, lo que, lo, lo que van terminando, okay? To see the ones who finish. Okay, thank you, Juan Carlos. Thank you very much. Thank you, Abigail. Thank you very much. Oh, David is gonna finish too. Thank you very much.
Okay, two more minutes to finish. Dos minutos más, two more minutes. At 10.22, we go to the next activity, okay? So I give you two more minutes, dos minutos más, two more minutes. Okay, uh, now it's time for the next activity. Okay, listen, if you have only four, no problem, or three, no problem, it's okay. Okay, it's okay, no problem. Just stop, good. So listen, um, in the next activity, in the next activity, um, we will go to breakout rooms and you will tell your classmate, you will work in pairs. Van a trabajar en parejas, you will work in pairs. You will tell your classmate, van a decirle a su compañero, Tell me about your obligations. Listen. Tell me about your obligations. Cuéntame acerca de tus obligaciones. Tell me about your obligations. And then your classmate will say, so compañero will say, I have two, I have two, I have two. When he finishes with the obligations, cuando termine con las obligaciones, va a decir, tell me about your needs. Tell me about your needs. Cuéntame acerca de tus necesidades. Tell me about your needs. And your classmate will say, y su compañero va a decir, I need to drink coffee tomorrow, for example. Or I need to have breakfast. I don't know. Yo no sé qué necesidades. I don't know the needs. Okay? So I repeat. Tell me about your obligations and tell me about your needs. Okay? No le van a decir, ¿cuáles son tus obligaciones? No, in English. Tell me about your obligations and tell me about your needs. And you take notes, y toman notas, and you take notes, okay? So you write your classmates' obligations and your classmates' needs. Va a escribir las obligaciones y las necesidades de su compañero. And you write the name, y escriben el nombre, and you write the name. In which part? ¿En qué parte? Si tienen el cuadro impreso, if you have the, the chart, lo van a hacer acá. Your classmates' list. So for example, you will write, um, for example, Juan. Escribimos Juan, por ejemplo, Juan. And then obligation, he has to, um, to write, for example, I don't know what he will say, yo no sé qué le va a decir, pero solo le estoy dando un ejemplo, I'm just giving one example. He has to write, um, he has to write a report, él tiene que escribir un reporte, he has to write a report, and you continue, right? Y continúan y escriben las cinco, las tres obligaciones y las dos necesidades de su compañero, yes? Is it clear? Estamos claros? Is it clear? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about your obligations and tell me about your necessities. And then you switch. Y luego cambia y que su compañero comparta. Okay. All right. So let's go and practice. Vamos a compartir. Let's go and practice.
Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, I have to pay for the electricity. Yes. I have to pay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The electricity, sí. Sí, yes. Sí. You better say, I have to pay the electricity bill. Bill. B-I-L-L. -L. I bill. have to pay the electricity bill. Ah, um, okay. Yeah. Um, tell me about your needs. I... <coughs> Perdón. <coughs> Perdón. I have to to buy, to buy Ramuti Ram material. Es mm, por eso es la necesidad es ahí ahí. Ah. Eh, que no eran. No. Tres obligaciones. Ah. Sí va para. O, o dos y dos. No one three three. Ah, okay. Uh, I have to. Uh -huh. We raw materials. Mm, oh. Mat materia prima. Raw, raw. raw material. Raw material. Raw material. Uh -huh. Pero antes es, I have to. Voy, comprar. Buy. Voy. You say buy. Okay. Okay. Buy. I have to buy raw material. Okay. I have to buy raw material. Raw material. Ah, okay. Eh, si, si, si quiere, yo le digo las, las tres obligaciones. Okay, sería what are you obligation? Mm, I have to check my email. Eh, ok, permite. Sería Mauricio. Y as. To check. I need I... sleep. I need to eat my breakfast early. Y I need to take a shower every day. <ríe> Vaya, para hacerme la despacito. <ríe> <laughs> okay, um, ¿dónde se quedó? Clean a house. Ah, okay. Um, I have I have to clean my house. I have to cook my lunch. Sí. Y um, las necesidades. I need a sleep. I need to sleep, Natalie. Don't forget to. Que no se te olvide tú, Natalie. Okay. I need to sleep, all right? I need to sleep. Yeah. Okay. I need, I need to sleep. Y I need to eat my breakfast. Every. Every day. Every day or every. Every day. Every day. Okay. Um, um I need to take a shower every day. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Nestor, tell me about your obligation. Obligation. I have I have to write a report. Okay. I have to check security system. It my English text. 
I have to complete my English test. Ya lo terminé, okay. teacher. Ya lo terminé. Um, I have to review the report. I have to review the report. The report. Yes. Uh, um, they about your needs. I need to buy a book. I need to book. To buy a book. I need to buy a book. A book. Sorry. Uh, two. I need to go to the supermarket. The supermarket. I need to go to the supermarket. Ah, to the. To the supermarket, exactly. Oh. Okay, okay. I need to go. I need to go uh -huh. to the supermarket. No, no, no. No existe el voz en, en, en inglés. <risa> yo, el tú, yo, el tú. yo, yes. Le voy a decir las suyas para ver si salen bien. Va, dele pues. Um, sería David need to visit the beach. Uh -huh. David he ha, uh, has to drive his car. Uh, he need play soccer. He have to make bread and he need to drink chocolate or cappuccino. Okay, excellent. Yo le voy a decir las suyas a ver si, si no están malas también. <laughs> Ajá, este, ah, pero es que se me olvida cómo. Bueno, she has washed eh, her clothes. ¿Cómo es que me dijo? Her clothes. Ajá, her clothes. David, ah, uh -huh, sorry, sorry for the interruption. You say she has to watch or she has to watch. To watch. To watch. Exactly. Watch. Has to. Has to watch. She has to watch. She has to complete the English test. She has to study. I don't know. Yeah. Siempre lleva el tú. Exactly. Así como el have to, el has también lleva el tú. She has to. Okay. Okay. Y el otro es, she has to go, goes, goes, she has to go, bueno, no sé si así, así me dijo, psychology, así, así me dijo, ¿va? Psycho, ajá, psycho, psycho, psychology. Psycho. Y ahí el otro es, she has to shop at market. Entonces, prácticamente sí, a veces me toca ir a la unión, entonces, el, el tramo, lo que cansa es venir manejando. Uh -huh. ¿Y usted en qué trabaja? Hola, Ticho. ¿Hola, Ticho? ¿Sí? ¿Sí? Sí. Es ok, está bien entonces. Es ok. Continúe su talk, continúe su plática, continúe con su talk. Vaya, I need, I need cook the soap for my teachers. <laughs> Really? <laughs> I need to cook, yes, right, Wendy? The pollo in the gallinita every I, I, June. And <laughs> I, I, I want to be your employee. Eunice, I, I, want, <laughs> I want to be your employee. Quiero ser su empleado. I want to be your employee. So you cook gallinita. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Que me uh -huh. rica, rica, eh, delicious. <ríe> ok. Eh, I... Quiero ver. 
I have administrate this, this school. I have to administrate the school. Mm, and I need to talk with teacher about her problems or difficult, I don't know. Difficult. Sometimes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. About, about I, the... I, Mm -hmm. Acerca de la Our, about the, about our, the, ah, nuestra, our difficulties. Our difficulties. Mm -hmm. difficulties. I yes. need to. Le repito. Es. I repeat. I need to talk about the difficult or teachers. Ok, so, in this case, you need a, a noun, necesita un sustantivo en difficult, y difficult es un adjetivo. El sustantivo sería difficulties, difficulties, se pronuncia difficulties, dificultades, difficulties, yes? Ok. Uh -huh. So, let me write, I will write it here, so you say difficulties. It's with double F, creo que son doble F, I don't, I don't remember well. So it's difficulties, all right? Here, difficulties. Ah. Why, teacher? Yes, in that case, you need a noun. In this case, you need a substantive, okay? No, an adjective, not an adjective. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. Eh, ¿Cuántas tengo que decir? Solo una más de needs to. Um, I need to brush my teeth every okay. three times. Three times a day. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Ok, um, well, to share, faltan algunos que regresen, but to share, uh, to share, you will, you will speak about your obligations or needs and about your classmates' obligations and needs, all right? Yes? So, I will repeat the instruction, ok? To share, para compartir, to share, you will speak, you will speak about your obligations and your needs. And also, y también, and also, you will speak about your classmates' obligations and needs. All right? So let's start. Empecemos. Let's start. So, Maria, do you want to start? Maybe two examples and two examples. Dos ejemplos y dos ejemplos. Two about you and two about your classmates, okay? So, two examples okay. and two about your classmates. Yes? Okay, Maria, go ahead. I have to wash my clothes. Oh and I need to drink coffee, many cups in the day. And David need to visit the beach and he has to mark bread. Okay, okay, very good. So uh, thank you, uh, Maria Elena, thank you very much. So you say um, he has to visit the beach or he has to go to the beach. What is correct? What is he correct? Is to go, is to go. Exactly. He has to go to the beach. You don't visit the beach. You go to the beach. All right. Yeah. Thank you very much, Maria. Thank you for your participation. So let's listen to uh, Nestor. Two and two, Nestor. Uh, two, um, two obligations or needs about you and two about your classmate. Okay. Two and two. Okay. Uh, uh... I have to write a report and I need to break, I need to take my breakfast. Okay, exactly. Now for your classmates. Uh, 
Wendy, Wendy needs clean her house. To clean, too. To clean her to house. Clean her, her house. Yes. Uh, Loida has Loida has to evaluate the teacher works. Yes, it's excellent, Esther. Thank you. Very good. Your examples are excellent. Thank you, Great participation. Thank you very much. All right, let's listen to um to Sarai. Necessities or obligations. Uh, necessity or two necessities or obligations about you and two necessities or obligations about a classmate, okay? Two and two, okay. two about you and two about a classmate. I need to go at work. I have to check email. Uh, Yesenia has to teach. Yesenia needs to sleep. Oh, nice. I need to sleep tomorrow too. <laughs> okay, thank you, Sarai, very good. Great participation. Now let's listen to um to another uh, to another girl by now. Okay, so let's listen to Jesenia. Jesenia, are you ready? Two and two. Two about you and two about a classmate, Jesenia. Okay. Uh, I need to I need to go to supermarket. I need to have burger. The, I have to uh, have. I have to report. I have to at clients. Okay. Now, now about a classmate. Now about a classmate. Uh, now, okay. Okay. Yeah. How and uh, now a class a classmate algo así. About, now about ahora cerca de un compañero. Now about a classmate. Okay. Ah, no alcanza a notar la de Hazel. Only one. No alcanza, no alcanza a notar la de Hazel. Solo en anoté la donde decía eh, tú decía I need to go I need to go to work. Okay. So then you say Hazel needs to work. Correct. So repeat it. Hazel needs to work. Hazel needs to, to work. Yeah, I think she has to work. She doesn't need to work. She, she has, has to work. Has to work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's okay. Thank you, Yesenia. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay, let's listen to a last participation. Escuchemos una última participación. So let's listen to uh, Mr. Gabarrete. Hello, teacher. Hello. Okay. Uh, I need to read. Pardon. I need to rest. I need to go a bank. A me. Eh, hoy, compañeros, Juan Carlos. Okay. He has to organize my WordPress. He has to destroy a the mass the mass a a and he he has to in uh, my desk. Okay, no, no. Listen, listen to this, Nelson and everybody. You say he has to clean my desk. Now, the, the what is correct? He has to clean my desk, or he has to clean his desk. What is correct? Uh, he has. He has to clean my desk. Okay, mm -hmm. your desk. Su pupitre, your desk or his desk? Ah, hey, you his. Sabía, cierto, no, his, his, his. Su de él es his. He has to clean ah, his, okay. his desk. Okay, repeat the example. Yeah. Okay. His. Okay, he has to uh, clean his desk. His desk to clean his desk. Okay, thank you. That's excellent. Thank you very much. So just remember, his es su de él y her es su de ella. For example, if I talk about Sarai, si yo, talk, si yo hablo de Sarai, if I talk about Sarai, I say, 
he has uh, to go to her work tomorrow, or she has to clean her house, Hazel. Pero si digo que Oscar necesita limpiar su casa, voy a decir, Oscar needs to clean his house. His, su de él. Her, su de ella, ¿ok? You don't say my, no decimos my. Okay. His or her, ¿ok? Thank you, Mr. Gabarrete. Thank you very much. Excellent. Yes. Ok, very good. Now, let's go to another activity. Vamos a otra actividad. Let's go to another activity. So, thank you for your participation. Thank you very much. Now, let's see. So, listen. In the next activity, I have two questions. Tengo dos preguntas. I have two questions in the next activity. Uh, let me share it here. So, um, question number one is, so I have two questions. Question number one is, do you mark your events or your activities in your calendar? Do you have a printed calendar or a digital calendar? ¿Qué calendario tiene? ¿Uno impreso o uno digital? ¿A digital one or a, or a paper one? Do you have digital. A, a digital calendar on your cell phone or, or on your computer, on your tablet? Okay, so the question is, if you have a digital calendar, do you mark your events in your calendar? ¿Marcan sus eventos? Do you mark your events in your calendar? Yes or no? Yes. Always. Always. Nice. So you are very organized. Oh my God. You are very organized. Thank you. Second. Okay. Now I know. Ahora ya sé. Now I know that you mark your events in your calendar. So the second question is, la segunda pregunta es, do you attend your events? Atienden sus eventos? Eso que marcan? Do you attend your events? The conferences, the meetings, the visits, clients. <laughs> Do you attend your events? I have to attend the events. <laughs> <laughs> you say, yes, I do. I have to attend the, my events, you can say. Good. So question number one, do you mark your events in your calendar? Question number two, do you attend your events? All right, let's see. Veamos entonces. So take notes if you want. Si quieren tomen nota de las preguntas. Take notes about the, the questions. Y luego le voy a preguntar, I will ask you later. So question number one is, do you mark your events in your calendar? Okay. And question number two is, do you attend meetings? Uh, do you attend your events, sorry? Do you attend your events? Okay, so two questions, dos preguntas. Are you ready to answer? Listo para contestar, ready to answer? Okay, let's go. Mr. David Sanchez. <laughs> okay, Mr. David Sanchez. Okay. Do you mark your events in your calendar? Yes. Uh, do you attend your events? Yes. All right. So uh, do you have a digital calendar or a paper calendar? Digital calendar. A digital calendar on your cell phone, yes. I imagine. On your cell phone, right? Right? No, in, in the computer. On, on your computer, nice. Excellent, yes. thank you. Thank you, David. Okay. Choose somebody, please, elige a alguien de los que no han participado. Choose somebody who hasn't participated. Eh, voy a elegir a um, Wendy Natalie. Okay, ask her the questions. <laughs> ask her the questions. Okay. Eh, Natalie, do you make your errand is your calendar? Yes. Okay. Do you attend your event? Yes. Uh, your calendar is digital or or paper? Or paper. Huh? Or your, paper? Your, do you have, the question is, do you have a digital calendar or a paper calendar? Do you have a digital calendar or a paper calendar? Do you have a digital calendar or a paper? Uh, digital. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. That's excellent. Thank you, David and Wendy. Wendy Natalie, select somebody, please. Elige alguien. Select somebody. Um, uh, uh, sí, está Loida. Loida, yes. Eunice is here. Eunice, are you ready? <laughs> 
Yes, qué okay. mal. Okay. He's ready, Natalia. Okay, do you may do you mark uh -huh. your event in your calendar? Yes, I do. And do you attend your event? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> Okay, do you have a digital calendar or you can a paper calendar? The both. Both, both, mm -hmm. you can say both. Both. Both, ambos, both, both. okay? Thank both. you, girls, yes, both. Thank you, girls, thank you very much. Okay, so thank you, Natalie, thank you, Eunice. So Eunice, select somebody, please, elige a alguien, Eunice. Okay. Select somebody, please. Uh, uh, Maria Elena. Okay. Hmm. Okay, compañera. Do you mark your event in your calendar? I am mark my events always. Do you attend your events? Yes, I attend my events um, ever. Yes. Okay. Uh, do you have a um, digital agent or or paper? I don't know how to go Paper. Oh, paper. I have digital calendar. Go with paper agent. Paper calendar or digital calendar? I am uh, digital calendar. <laughs> I have digital cal calendar. Okay, thank you, girls. Thank you very much. Thank you. So uh, you say event or event. What is correct? Event or event? Events. Events. So you say events. Ok. Do you attend your events? Con la fuerza de voz en la segunda sílaba. Events. Events. Ok. Let's repeat. Repitamos. Events. 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 Do you attend your events? All right. So let's listen to the last participation. Escuchamos una última participación. So, um... María, uh, please ask Ana Beatriz. María Elena, ask Ana Beatriz. Le preguntas a Ana Beatriz. Okay, Ana, do you mark your events in your calendar? Yes, I will mark my events. Events, sorry, events. And do you attend your events? Yes, I will attend my events. My uh, events, sorry. <laughs> events, practice it, repeat it many times. Events, 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 events. 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 All right, very good. I Thank you, Ana Beatriz and Maria. Thank you very much for your participations. All right, very good. So thank you for your participations. We have more activities. Tenemos más actividades. We have more activities, okay. So thank you very much. Solo antes de ir a las siguientes actividades, Solo quiero recalcar la importancia siempre de tener la cámara encendida, ¿ok? Porque ya no lo digo, tener cámara encendida, por favor, ¿ok? Durante la clase. To have your cameras on, that's important. Eso es importante, tener las cámaras encendidas, ¿ok? Y otra cosa, eh, respecto al trabajo de la plataforma, eh, les dije que tienen hasta hoy para completar la plataforma, ¿verdad? You have until today, ¿ok? Eh, no olviden que también tienen el, el English test, la prueba de inglés. Cada dos semanas hay una prueba de inglés. Okay, así que tienen esa prueba de inglés también que completar. No solamente son los ejercicios de la semana, sino que está también esa prueba de inglés. El día de mañana, yo entre 7 y 8 de la mañana, voy a estar pasando las, las notas para darles tiempo que lo terminen hoy todo. Okay? So please do it today. Si no lo han completado, do it today. Y no busquen el 80%, busquen el 100%. De todas formas, pueden repetir los ejercicios cuantas veces quieran. Ok. Así que. Solo quiero ver 100% ahí, 100% en todas las notas, ¿ok? Very good. ¿Alguien dijo teacher? ¿Me parece? Yes. 
Adelante, go ahead. Eh, uh, yo en este momento todavía estoy trabajando, Peter, por eso no tengo la cámara. Ok, no hay ningún problema. Okay. Sí, 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 este... Where do you work, Ember? <risa> Don Mimín, Juan Carlos. <risa> uh, con nuestros clientes. <risa> ok. Ok, very good. So, um, now, I will pass attendance before you go to the break. Le voy a pasar asistencia antes de que vayan al, al receso, ok? So, let, let me pass the attendance. Todavía no es eso, le voy a pasar asistencia primero. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Ok, perfecto. Ana Beatriz. Present. Carlos Abía. Present. Edgar. Present. Edgar. Yes, right. I'm here. All right. Uh, Saraí. I'm here. Jacqueline is there? Es que nos ha conectado ya. Jessica, no, ¿verdad? Jorge Eduardo. Jorge. Conectó George. Juan Carlos. I hear. Elise. I am here. María. Elena. I'm here. Mauricio Antonio. Present. Oh, okay. Thank you, Mauricio. Nelson? I'm here. Nestor? I'm here. All right, thank you. Oscar Arnulfo? Present, teacher. Okay, Rosana? Rosana? Programas? No, right? Okay, Wendy Natalie? Ana puso que estaba en tráfico en WhatsApp, que iba en tráfico. Ah, ok, pero sí, estuvo conectando un momentito. Okay, Jacqueline, ¿qué pasaría con Gloribel ahora? Siempre bien responsable. Jocelyn, Joana. I'm here, teacher. Ya llegué. Ok, sí. Ya so, vine a mi casa. Ya. Yeah. Thank you. Yesenia. Present. All right, thank you very much. So it's nine already. So let's take the two minutes break. Tomemos el receso de dos minutos. Okay, two minutes, two minutes. So let's go. Vamos a receso de dos minutos. Two minutes. Gracias. 
teacher, ya a veces apago la cámara porque se me va la señal aquí donde yo vivo. Y como yeah, yo siempre okay. con datos me conecto. Sí, ahí es okay. Solo cuando estoy en la casa de mi Ya, yeah, es ok. Sí, entiendo. Sí, yo sé que a veces la apagas por, por la señal para participar. Es ok. When you're participating, es ok. Cuando esté participando, está bien que la, que la apagues hoy. Sí, gracias que que todavía escuché. estamos trabajando aquí. Ok, ya, yeah, es ok. Entiendo. Ok, okay teacher. Estamos haciendo un cambio de compresor. Eso que hay, Amor. Ok, María, tengo una pregunta. Fíjese que yo he escuchado que cuando dicen psicólogo en inglés, no, no dicen psychology, sino que dicen psycho. ¿Cómo es entonces? La, ambas son correctas. Pero psycho es otra cosa, creo yo. Muchas mucha películas de terror, mira. <risa> Sí, algo. No, creo que Psycho se refiere a otra cosa. But I don't know really, no sé exactamente, pero creo que sí se refiere a otra cosa, Psycho. But let me check the difference, pero déjame, perdón, déjame revisar la diferencia. Let me check the difference, okay? okay? But you say psychologist, para la profesión y psychology. 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 Mm. All right, so let's, let's, let's continue, continuemos, let's continue. Time is over, el tiempo se acabó. Time is over. Okay, listen. Um, For the next part, we have a little conversation. Tenemos una pequeña... Okay, for the next activity, we have, let me check it here, we have this conversation, okay? We have this conversation. So listen, I want you to do something quickly. Quiero que hagan algo rápidamente, before we practice, antes de practicar. Here, we have two questions. Aquí tenemos dos preguntas. When is Susan's meeting? Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Why? Piensa que Susan tiene una agenda ocupada? ¿Por qué? So, read the conversation. <coughs> Lean la conversación. Read the conversation and answer the questions. Y contesten las preguntas. Read the conversation and answer the two questions. Y contesten las dos preguntas. Okay? Adelante. I give you three minutes. Le doy tres minutos. I give you three minutes. So read the conversation and answer the two questions. The página es, teacher. It's on page 28, página 28, page 28. Thank you.
Ok, ok everyone. So let's see quickly. Veamos rápidamente. Let's see the answers quickly. So question number one is, when is Susan's meeting? When is Susan's meeting? So everyone, ahora todos, when is Susan's meeting? On Monday, November 2nd. On Monday, November 22nd. Yes, exactly. On Monday, exactly. November 22nd. Uh, on Monday, November 20, 22nd or 22nd? 22nd. 22nd, 22nd. Okay. So, on Monday, November 22nd. Cuando damos fechas, usamos los números ordinales. Okay? 22nd in this case. Not, not, not cardinal numbers, okay? So, November 20. Second, second question. Okay, let's see. Any volunteer? Algún voluntario? Any volunteer? Any volunteer for question number two? Okay, let's see, Maria Elena. No, she doesn't. Okay, Ma okay Maria, Maria Elena. Maria Elena, uh, do you think Susan has a busy agenda and why? I think yes, because she meeting consulant consultant Monday in November 22nd and she after has conference with the Mexican representative Friday 26th. Yeah, that's right. So she has two very busy days. Dos días muy ocupados. Two busy days. Okay, thank you very much, Maria. So anybody with a different answer? Alguien con una respuesta diferente? Anybody with a different answer? Or you have the same answer? Tiene la misma respuesta? Yes? The same. Okay, yes, yes. All right, thank you very much. All right, now please listen to the pronunciation of the conversation. Listen carefully. Escuchemos cuidadosamente. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Listen again. Escuchen otra vez. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 27th. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. La pronunciación de esto es consultant. Consultant. No es consultant, no, consultant. 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 This is conference, conference, Representatives, representatives, agenda, agenda, agenda. agenda. All right, very good. Now, please, um, we will take only a moment. Solo vamos a, a tomar un momentito para practicar. Just a moment to practice. Okay? This is on page 28. Está en la página 28. It's on page 20, 28. So let's take a moment to practice. Vamos a tomar solo uno, dos o tres minutos para practicar. Just two or three minutes, okay? Don't change anything. No cambie nada. Don't change anything. Just practice the way it is. Practique más tal y como está. Practice the way the conversation is, okay? So let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Let's go and practice. Okay, let's go.
meeting with the consult consultant? On the Monday, November 22nd. Uh, what's about the conference with the Mexican, Mexican representative? It's on Friday, 26th. Okay. Adele, okay. please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? Uh, on Monday, November the second. Second. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Now, me, uh, Susan. I, the Mexican representative. It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Okay. Quiero le hacemos otra vez. Démosle pues. Okay. Adel, please, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November twenty second. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It is on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consult? Consultant. Consultant. No, consultant. Dijo, uh, consultant. 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 Yes. <laughs> consultant. consultant. <laughs> Yeah, consultant. 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 On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Okay. I can see you are more than ready. <laughs> I'm ready. El del consultant. Más que listos. Yeah. <laughs> Consultant. Ah, consultant. 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 Okay. It's consultant. Consultant. Esos son los consultores son esos. Yes, exactamente. Exactly. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It is on Friday, the 26th. Okay. Adele, ahí, dale, ah, dale, 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 dale. Adele, please check my agenda. Where is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's on Friday, the 26th. Ahí está, ya. Profesional. <laughs> Hoy va a dormir con eso, viejo. <laughs> Pues sí, consultan. Ay, Dios, que no me olvide. Juan Carlos, uh, just don't forget, uh, today you have the private session at 10, all right? I really. <laughs> okay, don't very forget. good. All right. Okay. Let's go back to the main session. No problem, no problem. All right. Okay. All right, everyone. Thank you for, for practicing the conversation. Thank you very much. This time you won't share. Esta vez no van a compartir. This time you won't share. Okay, you will share something else later. Van a compartir algo acerca de la conversación después, later. That will be at the end, okay, pero al final. I just, um, I just want to explain, um, well, in this moment we will study the months of the year. The months of the year. So question for everybody. Question for everybody. Uh, do you know the months of the year? Do you know the months of the year? January, February, March. <laughs> Do you know the months of the year, Salazar? Do you know them? Yes. A little or 
or you know them by heart, se lo saben ya de memoria, you know them by heart with perfect pronunciation. Yeah? Or no? Okay, let me see. A little. No. Okay. Raise your hands if you know them. Levanten la mano los que se lo saben. Raise your hands if you know them. Y vamos a ver si es cierto. <laughs> okay, Eunice. Juan Carlos. I think you know them, Juan Carlos. Only Eunice. Ah, María Elena. Oscar Anulfo, do you know the months of the year? Juan Carlos, levante esa mano. Juan Carlos, no quiere que le preguntemos eso. Okay. <laughs> All right, so um, let's carry on. Continuemos entonces. So let me share, let me share with you. Déjenme compartirles aquí pantalla. Let me share screen. So here, I have the months of the year. Por aquí tengo los meses del año. I have the months of the year, All right? I have the months of the year, months of the year. So listen to the pronunciation first. Escuchemos la pronunciación. Only listen. If you want to repeat, repeat, no problem. Okay, si quieren repetir pueden hacerlo, pero con el micrófono apagado, with the microphone off, please. Okay, let's start, empecemos. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Now you can repeat. Ahora sí, repitan, pero con el micrófono apagado. Repeat with the microphone up, please. Let's start. Let's start. January. January. February. February. March. March. April. April, May, May, June, June, July, July, August, August, September, September, October, October, November, November, and December. December. Good. Now let's listen to some of you. Escuchamos a algunos. So, Juan Carlos, you start. Tú empiezas with the first month. Primer mes. First month. January. Natalie. Second month. Segundo mes. February. February. Exactly. María Elena. March. Good. Arnulfo. April. Okay, uh, this is April or April? April. April. April, okay, it's April, not April. Okay, so say it again, please, Arnulfo, April. April. Excellent, very good. Uh, let's see, um, Eunice, continue, please. May. May, that's excellent. Gloribel. June. Excellent. Mauricio? July. Good. Jocelyn? August. 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 Good. That's excellent. Abigail? September. September. Very good. Yesenia? October. O October or October? October. October, exactly, October. David? November. Excellent. Beatriz? December. December. D December. 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 December, exactly, December. Okay, thank you very much. So let's listen again and repeat. Escuchamos otra vez y repitamos. Listen again and repeat with the microphone up. Con el micrófono apagado. January. February. March. April. Aquí no, no digan April. Es April. 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 May. 
जून जुलाई अगस्त सितंबर, अक्टूबर नवंबर, दिसंबर ओके टेक अ मोमेंट एंड स्टडी द मंथ्स Tome un momento y estudie los meses. Take a moment and study the months. And I will ask you questions later. Y les haré unas preguntas después. Take a moment and study the months, please. Take a moment and study the months. And I will ask you some questions afterwards. You can make a screenshot if you want. Si quieren pueden hacerles una captura de pantalla. You can make a screenshot if you want, please, okay? Make a screenshot if you want. Si gustan darle una captura, make a screenshot so you have them on your cell phone. Okay, time is over. <laughs> Now I have some questions for you quickly. Tengo algunas preguntas para ustedes. I have some questions for you, okay? Basic questions. If you want to answer the question, raise your hand. Si quieren contestar la pregunta, levanten la mano así. Pero no la manita de reactions. Así, su mano verdadera, your real hand, okay? So if you want to answer the question, raise your hand. And to answer, you will say, it's in January. It's in April. It's in May. Así me van a responder. It's in September. It's in December, it's in May, it's in August, it's in uh, January, I don't know, okay? Yo no lo sé, ustedes me van a responder, you will answer to me. Okay, are you ready, están listos? Question number one. When is St. Valentine's Day? When is, okay, let's see, Abigail, raise your hand, levanta la mano, raise your hand, Abigail. It's in February. It's in February. Very good. That's excellent. Thank you, Ari. Next question. Siguiente pregunta. When is Christmas? All right. Let's see David. David, raise hand first. David Sanchez. In December. It's in December. Exactly. Thank you very much. Next question. When is Mother's Day? Okay. Let's see. Um, Saray. It's in May. It's in? May. It's in May, exactly. Thank you very much. Next question. When is Father's Day? Okay, uh, let's see Beatrice. It's in June. It's in June. Thank you very much. All June. right. June. All right, thank you. Next question. When is cross day? When is cross day? El día de la cruz. When is cross day? Cross day? Okay, let's see. Um, I think Maria Elena has, has the answer. Okay, Maria Elena? Third May. It's in May. Okay, very good. May 3rd. Thank you very much. Next question. When is 
Labor Day. El día del trabajo. When is Labor Day? Ok, let's see. Mauricio. In May. It's in May. 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 It's in May. Thank you, Mauricio. Thank you very much. Good. Next question. All right. So when is when is Independence Day? Independence Day. Okay, Jocelyn. <laughs> it's in September. It's in September. Thank you very much. Good. Next question. When is New Year or New Year's Eve? El nuevo año. When is New Year's Eve? Okay, let's see. Um, Nestor. January. It's in January, exactly. Next question. When is the day of the dead? El día de los muertos. When is the day of the dead? Okay, uh, Sarai ya, ya participó, creo, no? Yes or no? Yes, right? Okay, let's see another, another one. Veamos otra persona. Eunice. Eunice. When is the day of the dead? It's in November. Exactly. Thank you very much. Next. Hmm. Got it. When is Halloween? When is Halloween? Halloween. All right, let's see Arnulfo. Is it October? It's in October. Exactly. I have an interest in I have an interesting question in this moment. And this interesting question is, when is vacation? When is vacation? Oh, it's not interesting for you? <laughs> for me, it's, that's very interesting. So, Arnulfo participated. Maybe I, we can have somebody else. Tal vez podemos tener alguien más. When is vacation? Loida participated, también participó Loida. Thank you, Loida, pero necesitamos escuchar a otro que no ha participado. When is vacation? Okay, Juan Carlos, when is vacation? It's in May. It's in May. <laughs> for you, for you it's in May. For me. <laughs> ah, okay, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, for anybody else, for Yesenia, Yesenia, raise hand. Yesenia, when is vacation for you? December. In December. Oh, nice. Thank you very much. All right. Very good. Last question. Ultima pregunta. Last question. Well, I have two more. So one of the last is, when is, um, let me see, the nature's day, el día de la naturaleza, the nature's day. No idea. No idea? April. Sorry? April. It's in April. In April 22nd. All right. Thank you very much. Algunos le dicen el día del medio ambiente también, right? Yes. The, 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 the environment day. Very good. Thank you. And, um, well, only that. Only that. So this is to, to practice the months. Era para practicar los meses. It was to practice the, the months. All right. So next, I will pass, I will explain you ordinal numbers, veremos los números ordinales. We will see the ordinal numbers. So please, pay attention carefully. Pongan atención cuidadosamente, pay attention carefully, okay? So let me share, déjenme compartirlo. Let me share here. Okay, listen, um, here we have the ordinal numbers. Now listen, uh, what do we use the ordinal, number, the ordinal numbers for? ¿Para qué usamos los números ordinales? Mostly for dates, mayormente para fechas. Para, ¿Para qué más? Para expresar un orden en un texto, por ejemplo. Okay, primero esto, segundo esto, tercero esto, ¿yes? So, an order in a text, para organizar ideas en un texto, ¿yes? Donde escribimos. So, we have el primer número, the first number. And it is first. 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 ¿Ok? Y cuando lo escribimos, también podríamos escribirlo de esta manera. Number one y la ST, las últimas dos letras, the last two letters, of the spelling, las últimas dos letras del número, ¿ok? First. Si se fijan, first. El número y ese 
The same for second, lo mismo para el segundo. Second and third. Para el tercero sería third, las últimas dos letras. Third, ¿ok? Para los demás dejamos, es súper fácil, es súper easy for the others, ¿ok? So for the others, you only have CH. Para los demás, en todos tenemos TH al final. So look, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, and twenty. Cuando llegamos al 20, o al 30, o al 40, retomamos lo de la primera columna otra vez. So we say 21st, que sería vigésimo primero, right? 21st, ok? 21st, 22nd, 23rd, vigésimo tercero. Y luego si llegamos al 30, solo el 30 lo decimos 30, ok? Y luego empezamos otra vez. 30, el número normal, 31st, 32nd, 33rd, 34th, bla, bla, bla. And you continue, okay? So these are the ordinal numbers. Estos son los números ordinales. So I will pronounce them for you. Se los voy a pronunciar ahorita. So you listen carefully, please. Escuchen cuidadosamente. Listen carefully. Okay, just listen in this moment. Ahorita solo escuchen. Just listen. First. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, 14, 15, 16, 17, aquí le falta la H, ok, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 30, luego 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. All right? Good. Si quieren decir ya eh, vigésimo primero, que sería 21st. Okay? Luego podría ser 31st. Yeah? And so on. All right? So now let's pronounce. Ahora pronunciamos juntos. Let's pronounce together. Are you ready? With the microphone off. Con el micrófono apagado. First. Pero con la cámara encendida, porque aquí lo estoy viendo. Okay? First, second, second, third, third, fourth, fourth, fifth, fifth, sixth, sixth, seventh, Seventh, eighth, eighth, ninth, ninth, tenth, tenth, eleventh, eleventh. Ese sonido de la TH se hace con la lengua entre los dientes. Como que sopla. ¿Ok? You say 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 20th. 21st, 22nd, 30th, 30th, 31st, 32nd, ¿ok? Y luego eso no está ahí. 
Very good. Now, um, please make a screenshot. Háganles una captura de pantalla, por favor, porque ya le voy. Vamos a hacer una actividad. So make a screenshot, please. Make a screenshot. Háganles una captura. Make a screenshot, please. Make a screenshot, please. Háganle una captura de pantalla. Okay, so listen, um, with the numbers, with these ordinal numbers, we will do two activities. Vamos a hacer dos actividades ahorita que vayan a trabajar. You will do two activities, yes? So, in pairs, in pairs, in pairs, first, take a moment to pronounce the numbers taking turns. Tomen un espacio para pronunciar los números tomando turnos. So, imagine I practice with, a, with Arnulfo. So I say, first, Arnulfo dice. Second, second. third, Arnulfo dice. Fourth, yo digo fifth, Arnulfo dice sí. Luego cambian, then you change. Arnulfo empieza, Arnulfo dice first, I say second, Arnulfo dice third, yo digo fourth, and so on. So take turns. Y corríjanse mutuamente, ayúdense mutuamente en la conversación, ¿ok? That's activity number one. Esa es la actividad número uno. Tomen alrededor de cuatro minutos para hacerlo, cuatro o cinco minutos. Afterwards, después de eso, te van a hacer la pregunta, la siguiente pregunta. What is the first month of the year? What is, ya usando el número ordinal, what is the first month of the year, el primer mes del año? Thank you, you switch, right? Cambian. Y van salteados. Pueden preguntar, what is the fourth month of the year? The fourth month of the year. El cuarto mes del año. Or what is the tenth month of the year? Y su, y su compañero debe contestar. For this, take like three minutes, okay? So, four or five minutes to practice the pronunciation of the numbers and three minutes to practice questions with what is the first month of the year? What is the second month of the year? Yeah? Clear? ¿Estamos claros qué van a hacer? Are, we, are you clear? Yes? Okay, let's go and practice. Vamos a practicar. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Seventeen. Eighteen. Nineteen. Twenty. Twenty-first. Twenty second, twenty third, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Now, middle first, 
Okay, sure. just, just before you go and antes de que sigan, just remember, la TH es como, miren a mí, miren a, miren a mí, miren mi cámara, ok, o mi imagen. So, la TH se pronuncia. For y del 30 en adelante, por ejemplo, bueno, no sería del 30 realmente ni sea el número cardinal aquí. Hay nota 20. Trigésimo. Trigésimo, ok. So sería serie. 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 Okay. Um, now me the first. First. Okay. No. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. Eleventh. 12, 13. Ahora Edgar, por... A mí me toca. 15. 15. 16. 17. 18. Ay, ay, ¿a dónde voy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Es que Hensel no tenía compañera, entonces tenía que enviarle a una compañera para que practicara, ¿ok? Ah, ok. Yes. Vaya. Practice. Ahorita. A ver. Primero dijo que era practicar, ¿verdad? Yes, y después practice hacer the numbers. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ah, ok, ok. Comienzo yo, Hensel, después de usted y así. Vamos a ver. Ah, porque Tirin. 30. 30. Tiris. Algo así, Tiris. 30. Ajá. De ahí. Sí, algo así. ¿Cómo se pronuncia eh, el 30, teacher? 30. Sí. El trigésimo es Tiris. Ah, el. Terrier. No sé si. Ajá. ¿Cómo? Tiris. 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 Forty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, ninety. Ah, ninety. Ah, ninety. Okay, okay, gracias. All right, no problem. Continue, please. Okay, entonces comenzamos de nuevo, Nelson. Okay. Bien, comencemos pues. Fears. Por el th. Thirds. First. Okay. Third. What is the fifth month of the year? It's May. Okay. What is the sixth month of the year? Six. Six. Uh, uh, July. It's July. Six. 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 Ah, June. 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 <laughs> Me confundí, ok. What is the eighth, eighth one month of the year? August. August, ok. What is the twelfth month of the year? It's December. Uh, what is the first of the years? First, first is first. January. First. Okay. Okay, yes. What is the fourth month of the year? April. Okay. What is the seventh month of the year? It's July. Uh -huh. 
el nombre más loco del... <risa> What is the ninth month of the year? September. Eh, what is the... ¿Qué? Eh, Sirs? Month of the year? March. Ahí está. You say third. Third. ¿No? Sorry for the interruption. So, for, for tercero, you say third. Look at my, look at my picture. Miren, miren mi imagen. So, you say third. 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 The first sound, the primer sonido es con la lengua entre los dientes, la TH. Third. Third. Ah, third. Y la I se pronuncia como E. Como E, exactamente. Third. 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 Pero al final termino con R o con TH. Sorry? Termino con TH, o sea, el Z. No, termino con D. En el primero, segundo y tercero, terminan. El primero termina con ST. First. First. El segundo termina con ND, second, second. Y el tercero termina con RD, third, 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 Yeah, continue. Third. 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 What is the third month of the year? Is March. Okay. What is the twelfth month of the year? December. Okay. Hola. No, ya se quedó otra vez. Hello. No, ya. Se le problem. está cortando. Oh, yes. tiene problemas de conexión. She has connection problems. Oh, creo que se salió. I think she went out. Aquí ni otra vez. Y sí, la saca a cada momento. Oh, my God. Sí, lo siento. It's okay, Eunice. We understand your situation with the internet connection. Y más que esté en el cuarto es más difícil. Yes. Okay, continue. Continue. Do your best. I don't know que pueda. Do your best. Okay. Okay. Yes. For the week. Yes. 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 Wednesday. Wednesday. Where is the five day for the week? Friday. It's now Friday. Uh, Maria, you say uh, five or fifth? Fifth. Fifth is fifth. Okay. What is the fifth? Fifth. What fifth. is the fifth day of the week? Fifth. Okay. Fifth. Fifth. Okay. Fifth. 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 Exactly. Fifth. 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 Mm -hmm. fifth. fifth. Proceed the question, please. What is the fifth day of the week? What is the first day on the week? Yes, better, mejor, much better. Fifth. Fifth. Yes. Fifth. Okay, continue, continue, please. Uh, now. Your turn, Edgar. Um, cerca, ¿verdad? Sí, vamos a practicar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh -huh. Okay. What <laughs> is the first month of the year? Um, January. What is the what is 11th? the See? what is the eleven month on the year? November is November. What is the six months of the year? Mm -hmm. 
¿Cómo? ¿What? Uh, Repeat, what please. No listen. Birthday? What is the month of your birthday? Um, my birthday it's in the uh, October. Okay. It's finished. Uh, it's in. Oh, I see. Finish. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Enjoy your pupusas, Amber. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Bye. You have to eat. Sí, que... Cito con loroco, teacher. <laughs> Yes, I can see he's, he's really into his pupusas. Qué rico. Y el curtido es de repollo o de vinagre. Es de mayonesa. Ah, de ese de mayonesa. Con salsa negra. No, eso no me gusta. Solo los migueleños. Ah, ya sabía que iban a decir algo de los migueleños. Yo soy migueleño. Pero y saben buenas porque yo he escuchado que les gusta con salsa negra. Eh, para ser honesto, no. sí saben bien, pero a mí Depende no me gusta. No es mi gusto. No, no es mi gusto en inglés, pero sí me gusta en inglés. Se dice it's not my taste. No, saben Prefiero el vinagre. Oh. Ya vamos a tener el How do you Vamos say? a tener un debate por aquí acerca del curtido de vinagre y curtido de mayonesa, ventaja y desventaja, ¿ok? Mira, no sé. Por la anécdota. Por yes. okay. la anécdota la probé y está bien. Thank you. Mejor, la probé con paso, pan. Mejor paso de asistencia ahorita, mejor paso de asistencia, ¿ok? Yes. Pichu, okay. qué serio. <laughs> Comida, todo el mundo celebra esto. El chico dulce es el mejor. Ya me dio hambre. Ana Abigail. I'm here. Bien. Ana Beatriz. Present. Carlos David. Present. Edgar Alexander. I'm here. Ember. Present the teacher. Present, yeah. <laughs> Saraí. I'm here. Uh, Jacqueline. Jacqueline no se nos conectó, ¿verdad? Jorge. Jorge, tampoco. Okay. Juan Carlos. Right here. Loida. I'm here. María Elena. I'm here. Mauricio. Present. Mauricio. Present. Ah, ok. Nelson. I'm here. Oscar. Present. Roxana, no sé si ¿sí, sí se conectó. Sí, me pareció verla por ahí. Roxana. ¿Se salió? No. Roxana. No, ¿verdad? Roxana creo que estaba solo como oyente. Anda, estaba sí, en sí, tráfico. Es que la vi conectada por ahí, pero, pero ya no. Wendy Natalie. Oscar, a Oscar lo mencioné. Oscar, okay, okay. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, okay, very good. Uh, let's see, um, Wendy Natalie, Jocelyn, ¿lo bien? Present. Jocelyn, Joana. I'm here. Yesenia Marisol. Present. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Uh, teacher, a mí no me yes. mencionó. ¿A quién no mencioné? Who? Néstor. A Néstor, perdón, Néstor. Let me see. Quickly. Thank you. Oh, sí, pero ya puse que asistencia, Néstor. I know you were connected. Uh, sabía que estaba conectado. I know you were connected. Okay, thank you, Néstor. All right. So, and thank you, everybody. Now, please, I will ask you questions, but this time you need to say the month and the date. Ahora deben decir el mes y la fecha. The month and the date. For example, when you say Valentine's Day, you say... It's on February 
14. It's on February 14. Yes, you say the date. Ordinal number, el numero ordinal, ordinal number. February 14. All right. When is Mother's Day? ¿Quién levanta la mano? Who raises hands? When, okay, let's see Nestor. When is Mother's Day, Nestor? May 10th. Yes, on May 10th. Oh, listen. Thank you, Nestor. Aquí hay algo importante. Aquí vamos a usar la preposición on. Si damos la fecha, decimos on. Si solo decimos el mes, decimos in. In May, for example. Pero si decimos el 10 de mayo, on, on May 10th. Okay, on May 10th. Thank you, Nestor. Thank you very much. Next question. Uh, when is Christmas? Okay, David. Perdón, es on December eh, 24th. Fourth. Excellent, that's very good. Uh, next question. Uh, when is, um, let me see. When is Labor Day? El día del trabajo. When is Labor Day? Okay, let's see, Mauricio. On May 1st. On May 1st. Excellent. That's very good. All right. Next question. When is, when is, um, uh -huh, let me see. Yeah. When is Halloween? Okay. Let's see, Amber. It's on October 31st. 31st. Excellent. 31st. 31st. Thank you, Amber. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much for your participation. Son las 10 y 2 minutos y ahora no les quiero quitar mucho tiempo porque yo sé que los que no han terminado deben terminar la plataforma. Okay? So, thank you for connecting. Gracias por conectarse. Recuerden siempre ir a revisar el trabajo de la plataforma, terminarlo este día, porque yo el día de mañana temprano, entre 7 y 8 de la mañana, voy a estar pasando todo para mandar el consolidado. Okay? Así que déjenlo listo ahora, por favor. Leave it ready. Today, ya me voy para completar la semana 2 y su midterm o la, o la prueba de inglés que aparece en la segunda semana. Ok, so any question, alguna pregunta o that's it for today. Ok, thank you for connecting. Have a good night and have a good weekend. Tengan un buen fin de semana. Ok, goodbye and good night. Thank good night. you. Bye. 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 Good night. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Hazel nos va a acompañar, ¿ve? No quiere ir okay. todavía. <risa> y, y don Nelson, que siempre a veces también se queda. Lo que pasa es que como primero apago un dispositivo, después sí. apago el otro. ¿pom? Yo entiendo, don Nelson. Él siempre apaga Gracias. Un el otro. <risa> ok, no problem. Ok, Juan Carlos, so this space is for you. All right? Ok. Eh, I have a problem with need to and have to. All right. What's the difference? And uh, what uh, and how how we how we, we use how use how we can use them. Okay. Why how I can use? Yeah, I can use them. <laughs> them okay. Yeah. Them is el, el have to uh, correct. Okay, very good. So th there is a little difference between have to and need to. First have to is for obligation, something I have to do. I mean, but, it's not an option. No hay, no, no hay opción. There's no option. It's an obligation. Okay? But what kind of obligation? Because bills uh, in work, at, at yes. work or in work? Since, since this is English for work, como el curso en el que estamos es inglés para el trabajo, estamos hablando de obligaciones en el trabajo. Pero pueden haber diferentes obligaciones. In the house, maybe we have obligations in the house. Uh, in the obligations with your family, okay, that you have to give them money, that you have to what? Do many things, okay? Yeah, that you have to buy, you have to buy, sorry, milk for your baby, for example. Yes, this is, these are obligations, not necessities, that are some obligations, okay? Pay the okay. bills, for example. I have to pay the bills, yes, yeah, so, es para obligaciones en general, in general, okay? 
obligations in general. Yeah. Have to... La pregunta la hacía porque, eh, o sea, me confundió más porque en el examen, en el midterm, eh, vi que eh, en unas me parecía bien cuando decía, ponía have to y en otras, o sea, más adelante me preguntaban lo mismo y me decían need to. Ajá. Me la ponía mal. Okay, o sea, aparentemente era una obligación, era una necesidad. Era... Ese es el punto, o sea, cu cuándo saber o cómo identificar que es una obligación o cuándo identificar cuando es una necesidad. Ok, I understand, entiendo. El detalle es que algunas, algunas que realmente se notan que son, que son necesidades, right? For example, what? Uh, imagine I say, I need to have breakfast. Necesito desayunar. No es una obligación, it's not an obligation, right? Uh -huh. But it's a necessity, it's a need, es una necesidad. I need to have breakfast in the morning. Or have lunch. I need to have lunch. ¿Qué más es una necesidad? Oh, I need to brush my teeth. La de cepillarse los dientes. But it's not an obligation. Pero no es obligación hacerlo. But it's a need. Es una necesidad. It's a need. It's a body need. Okay? So, uh, first you have to, to see which ones are needs and which ones are obligations. Hay que ver cuáles realmente son obligaciones en el contexto y cuáles son necesidades. ¿Recuerdas alguna? En ese momento eh, estaba viendo nada más. O sea, ok, yo vi la pregunta y vi, la neces o sea, y vi que decía que tenía que ir a, a sacar el curso o la, el pasaporte para viajar a tal lugar. O sea, yo en el contexto yo lo podría entender de que ese, o sea, si fuera de trabajo, tendría que ser el pasaporte para salir de viaje para ir a una reunión a algún lugar. Ese sería una necesidad o sería una obligación. Y repite de Ok. Eh, eh, solo por, por ejemplo, dis, digo, eh, yo tengo la necesidad de sacar mi pasaporte para ir a viajar, o sea, para viajar a los Estados Unidos a trabajar, o sea, parte de mi trabajo, o sea, mi trabajo me mandan hacia allá. Entonces, eh, podría decir yo, I need o I have to. It depends on the way you see it. Depende cómo lo veas. It depends on the way you see it, right? Ajá. Ahora sí entiendo tu punto. I understand you your point, okay? Yes. Um, if it's an obligation, será una obligación realmente ir a sacar mi pasaporte. Or what do you think? Para mí, sí, porque lo necesito salir porque es parte de ella. Yes, I get your point. Pero ¿qué aparecía en, el, en, en la respuesta? Eh, de que me decía que era una necesidad. Es a mí. Yeah, it depends on the way you see it. Depende de la forma en que se mire. O la forma en, en el contexto en que se tome. It depends on the context, right? Yes. Yeah, but in this case, you're right. It, it depends on my point of view. or my criteria. En criterio personal. Uh -huh. yeah. Ah, ok. O sea, no necesariamente, entonces, eh, tengo que tomarlo siempre. Eh, I have to or I need to. Mm -hmm. So it depends. By, ya llevándolo a un contexto, digamos, más más personal, ahí yo lo puedo usar mejor porque yo sé personalmente cuáles son mis necesidades, which are my needs and which are my obligations, ¿ok? I have it clear, yo lo tengo claro para mí, I have it clear for me. Pero ya en un contexto de que me lo ponen así en un examen, sí es un poquito complicado porque no estoy en la mente del otro, right Ajá, correcto. Ajá, it's complicated. I am, that's why, I understand your point, entiendo tu punto, I understand your point. Pero I feel, yo siento que es suficiente con que tú tengas claro en tu caso personal, cuándo usar need to, cuáles son tus necesidades y cuáles son tus obligaciones, si vas a usar how to. Okay. El caso de la, si fuese el caso de que tengo que tomar mis vacaciones eh, porque me las están obligando, ahí sí puedo decir a have to, ¿verdad? Yes, but that's a need, pero eso pero es si yo la, <risa> Pero si yo las quiero tomar en tal fecha, podría decir I need to yes. take a vacation from day to today. Yeah, exactly. From this day to that day, or I need to, to take vacations in January or, or May. You said to parece in May. Yes. Okay. So it's a, it becomes a need. I llega a ser una necesidad. It becomes a need, mm -hmm. a personal need. Uh -huh. But it's, a, it's obligation. It's a use I have to. Oh, yes. 
la, en este caso de la vacación lo podríamos poner de la siguiente manera, ¿ok? Es an obligation for the company to give you vacations. Es una obligación para la compañía darte vacaciones. So they have to give you vacations. Ellos tienen que darte vacaciones. They have to give you vacations. Y para ti es una necesidad porque necesitas relajarte. So you need to have vacations or you need to take vacations. ¿Ok? Para ponerlo en un contexto como más, más claro para uh -huh. que menos. Ok. Sí, yeah. hoy ya, ya tengo, o sea, ya lo puedo empezar a utilizar en diferentes... Dependiendo de lo que estemos hablando, ¿verdad? O con la persona que esté hablando, ¿verdad? Exactamente, exactamente. Lo, last... lo más importante es que tú lo uses de la forma correcta, de acuerdo a tus necesidades y a tus obligaciones. Ok, okay. and the last question. Eh, yesterday, o last night sería, ¿verdad? You can say last night. Mm -hmm. Last night. Eh, no me recuerdo quién dijo... Eh, de que revisaba su correo de 11 y a las 2. Mm -hmm. O sea, a las 11 y a las 2. Mm -hmm. Entonces, me quedó la duda nada más si podría poner at 11 a.m. en 2 p.m. o sin el at nuevamente. O sea, si tengo que poner at at. O solamente hasta el principio y el final lo puedo solo decir en 2 p.m. Yeah, you can say en 2 p.m. It's okay. ¿Se entiende? It's okay. At 11 a.m. and 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. it's, it's correct. Yeah, it's correct. Ok, perfecto. Ya listo. Ok, perfecto. Puedo ir a descansar tranquilo. Ahora sí. <laughs> Ay, la otra teacher. Antes solo Está real... todo completo en la plataforma, sí. Sí, ya, ya, no, ya hoy lo hice. Okay, eh, lo único que me estaba fijando de que eh, me parecía el porcentaje, eh, no me sería el 100% en la segunda semana en tareas. Y me recuerdo que sí, todas las hice el viernes pasado, las hice completas. Okay, voy a revisar entonces, hago un check that. Y eh, casi siempre cuando entro a la plataforma, siempre me quedo en la. Uh, si hoy hice el examen, me. me Quiero ver, me, termi eh, me muestra la página de la última parte del examen o de la última tarea, pero como que no lo he enviado. Mm. Yo creo que es, es como de adelantar a la siguiente actividad, avanzar a la siguiente actividad, automático, ponerle next. Eso pero es lo igual. que he estado haciendo. Mm, pero igual, a, a mí siempre me aparecen. Ah, pero ok. Igual, ajá, en, en el primero me aparecía 100%, me parece, pero tengo que revisar. En la segunda semana es que me parece ochenta y pico, creo yo. Voy a revisar. I will check. Ok. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok. That's all. I don't know if you have any other question or that's all. No, that's all. Ok. Thank okay. you. Muchas gracias, teacher. Thank you for staying. Ok. Gracias, igualmente. Ok, good night. Good night.